And the coolest thing about these DIYs is you literally just use your school supplies. And you know what? The DIYs I did today was literally my first attempt. So I think they're super easy and you guys can do it at home as well. Hold up, if you guys aren't part of the fam yet here already, I encourage you guys to join. Just click the subscribe button. And because we hit 150,000 likes last week, I am here to announce another MacBook Air giveaway. To enter, all you need to do is two things. One is be part of this fam, which is click the subscribe button. Hopefully you've done that already and welcome. The second thing you need to do is be part of my vlog squad, which means subscribe to my vlog channel, which is linked down below. Good luck. The other reason why this giveaway is possible is that we're partnering with the Wish app this week to make this video. The Wish app is an amazing online store where you can buy clothes, accessories, shoes, pretty much anything. In fact, I ordered the items at DIY this week through the app. Because these items are sent overseas, they may take a little bit longer than normal to arrive. Oh my gosh, guys, the items are so affordable. I really think it's worth it. Totally do another like challenge this week. So let's try and get this video to 150,000 thumbs up. I really do appreciate every single like you guys give me and it only takes a couple of seconds. So thank you guys so much. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go. This unicorn top is so cute. I just wish it was mm, a little bit different. Taking me down out, you made it. Did you know you can totally revamp old t shirts and make them into the coolest tank tops? And all you need are a pair of scissors. Simply lay your t-shirt out and decide how thick you want the straps and how low you want your armholes to be. I chose to do a very low cut sided tank so I cut it out like this. What I love about t-shirt fabric is you can just cut it and it makes it look super edgy and you don't really need to finish it with anything. Now to make it the same shape on each side, I took the side I cut out as a guide for the other. Pretty neat trick, huh? And now you're almost there. Done! You can totally just leave it like this if you want, but I'm gonna cut a lower neckline to match. So just cut out your desired shape, and when you're halfway, what I did was actually fold it over to use it as a guide to make sure both sides are the same, or you can simply trace out the shape first using fabric chalk. Now this is completely optional. I took the sleeves we cut off and cut out the band at the end of the sleeve and this turned into this really cool elastic. Now turn your tank top to the back and gather it about one third of the way down the back. Simply use this elastic to tie a cute knot and you have this really cute gathered racer back. You can tie it up using string as well or create your own fabric tie. It's completely up to you what you want your back design to be. And that's it! These tank tops are so perfect to go to the gym with or a great way to glam up a pair of PJs. Oh my gosh, Wenji, those shorts are so cool. Where'd you get them? Oh, these? They're from my pencil case. Huh? What? Yeah. Cool, huh? I turned these very plain looking pair of denim shorts into an amazing bright colorful and fun pair that will add a pop of color to any outfit and I did this using something you probably use every day at school yep highlighters all right let's do this first you'll need any pair of denim shorts some highlighters kitchen sponges and some bleach 
Make sure you cover the surface before you do this as bleach can really ruin your carpets and other surfaces. Yep, I would know I made this mistake. Now dip your sponge in the bleach and start applying it where you want your color to fade. I started around halfway down the shorts and also dripped some bleach onto the pockets around the top to create a nice dotted pattern kind of like this. Alternatively, you can also dip half your shorts in a bucket of bleach if you like. Just make sure you dip it in a bit lower to where you want it as the bleach would absorb onto the fabric and climb up as it soaks. I found that the sponge gave me a lot more control and I could do more designs with it. Once I was done, I let the sponges sit on the bottom of the fabric to keep it soaked as you don't want the bleach to dry out as it's doing its thing, so keep checking on it. Oh yeah, also do this in a well ventilated area as it does not smell nice at all. In fact, I felt like I was choking on the smell. Now, after a few hours, just wash your shorts as normal and it should turn out something like this. Seriously, you can already stop here and the shorts will look super cute as well. The bleach is really to make sure that your highlighter colors show up clearly, but I would totally just wear it like this. Okay, to the fun part. I chose pink and blue highlighters for this part. Pour some warm water into some bowls and take your highlighter and pull the back to reveal the little color nib bit inside. Put this into the water and you'll see the color start to come out. Keep turning it around and squeezing and you'll see the beautiful highlighter juice just spill into the water. It's so pretty. Oh yeah, wear gloves as this stains your fingers. I made the mistake for you and um, my fingers were pink. Remember, the more color and less water, the brighter the color and vice versa. I used a clean kitchen sponge and started dabbing the color onto the bleach areas of the shorts. I started off with the blue and blended it down. Then taking the pink, I dripped some color on to create some dotted patterns and then took the sponge and started blending it towards the end of the shorts. What I love about these two colors is that in the middle where they meet, it created this beautiful purple shade. So it turned out to be an amazing watercolor ombre design. Also, don't forget to get a few highlighters as you may need to mix more than one. So just keep mixing it until you're finished with your shorts. Do the same on the back of the shorts and then you're done. Now it's time to let it dry either in the sun outside or in a dryer and the color will stain the denim and make a beautiful bright pair of shorts. cool shoes. No really, these are the same ones. What? Some friend you are. I know. How about we make yours today? Huh? Let's do it. What? When it's winter, I dream of summer. We go places, magic and wonder. Starlit faces never look This DIY is seriously one of the coolest things I've ever done. I turned these plain white canvas shoes into these gorgeous galaxy inspired sneakers that look truly magical. And guess what? All you'll need are Sharpies. Yep, it's that simple. So grab a pair of plain canvas shoes and some Sharpies. I chose these galaxy inspired colors. Start coloring patches of color all along your shoes. I alternated between all my galaxy colors all around the shoe like this. You don't really need to be neat because of what we're going to do next. Try thinking about placing colors that will look amazing blended into each other. I tried to create a galaxy gradient by blending in lighter colors like pink slowly into the darker color like black. The most important thing about the galaxy pattern is to really make it random and not too neat. You can do a swirl of the navy blue around the shoe and then fill it in with the other colors in alternating patterns. And you should have something that looks kind of like this. There, we're done. It doesn't really look like a galaxy much at the moment, does it? But don't worry, we got this. 
The next part is seriously the most fun. Take some rubbing alcohol. I use 98% isopropyl alcohol. Try and get as close to 100% as you can. You can usually find this in the pharmacy or your supermarket. Then simply pour this all over the shoe. I started off spraying it, worrying that it will blend too quickly, and then I realized I really had to get in there and just literally soak it through for the colors to blend evenly. Don't worry if the colors don't blend straight away either, they do take a little bit of time. Leave it for about 5 to 15 minutes to see the full effect. It'll start to look like this, like wow, how cool is it? I noticed that the black didn't really blend that well, so I just kind of took a q-tip and rubbed it up a bit to help it along. The other colors blended beautifully though, like this. Let it dry overnight and the next day it'll look so gorgeous. Now to complete the galaxy design, I took some spray fabric paint in white. You can also paint it on with a tiny brush, but I found that spritzing white all over the shoe created the perfect looking stardust. I was also so scared because I only had one chance at this spray. Finally, draw some bigger stars around the shoes if you'd like and let the fabric paint dry. Tie your laces back on and we're ready to wear these super cute shoes. Oh my gosh, I am totally in love with these. The best thing about it is that no one will have a pair like yours. They are totally unique. Now we can wear the same shoes every day! BFS forever! Oh no, what did I get myself into? You got my feelings set to overload Spilling over more Until I I hope you guys give this a go at home as well yourself and if you want to order the items that I DIY'd off the Wish app I have put a link to the app down below as well as a wish list of all the things I use today that you can get from the app and until next week I'm going to miss you guys so much I'm going to be on social media and on my vlog channel and until next week bye guys bye love you